Hi, welcome to another episode where I am doing some educational videos on building a Prusa box. So last time we managed to do all the corners, top and bottom, get the hinges on, and basically get the main the main frame done. Today I'm going to do a variety of items, try and make the video a little bit shorter this time, but we're going to be putting the side vent on and also a choice of ventilation for another hole which is under the uh, main motherboard. So let's have a look at those. To start with I've printed the vent cover and two other parts which allow the air to be varied and in the main cover there are some slots so we just have to put the little three millimeter square nuts in there the nuts are in there so the next part is building up these three components so you've got the front, you've got a middle with two slots in it, like that, and then you've got the lever. And it basically allows you to open and close the vent. Now you can sandwich in between here uh, some particularly uh, interesting uh, material that is on the printer box website. It's actually off of like a, a duster type thing. So um, it's basically act, acting as a, um, a vent material. So I'm not going to pop that in at the moment. I don't have that, that particular uh, product to hand, but it is shown clearly on the printer box website so you can get hold of it. So I'm going to keep these together pop them on the outside just make sure they, they are sandwiched together and stay together using these small 3mm uh, bolts and those the next step I'm going to do is adding a cover for this vent hole. Now you've got an option here you could put in this particular filter which mounts and directs air straight to the motherboard or you can have a blanking plate which I don't have or you can just have a, a, a grid here that we'll, we'll place over there and it will allow fresh air in it'll be another source of fresh air um, I'm for the moment I'm just going to put the grid in I may well change it for this later on as it's printed um, we will see but for the moment for this build I'm just going to put the grid in and again it needs the square nuts to be popped in and then we can bolt it in from under, underneath. Now you can see the little vent grill is in. So we're on to the next step. So the next step in this uh, build adventure is popping in the feet. Um, there are sockets that go into these two long uh, strengthening rails and there are feet that go onto the printer. Now the standard feet, you, you get a print like this, this is off of something else but it's very similar, uh, which will go onto the printer, uh, onto the clip onto the rails 
and you actually use squash balls as a method of suspension and those go into sockets in the rails and that's your suspension. Now I've actually been supplied with some feet. They do screw in. Let's have a look. I've got my bag of printed parts here. So we have something similar uh, but it's for these feet. These will screw in, these will clamp onto the side of the printer and then let's have a look see if I can find these parts I believe slot into the rails and the bottom is a gap there just for the feet to go into so hopefully you can see that so I'm going to put these parts in there as that's the next part of the build so let's have a look at the feet that have to go in and this is the orientation that you have to use with the mount for the feet on the outside of the front and on the inside at the rear. Now I've just finished printing these little plastic T-nuts and I've inserted square nuts inside each one. There's four of them. They will go inside the extrusion. Uh, that's for the feet. But it's become apparent that I do need to remove the power supply and I've got this brace that will go in its place and I've put a couple of M4 nuts in there. So let's see how we get on. The power supply is now undone, as you can see, and I'm just going to use a couple of tie wraps for the stepper motor wires just to tidy them up. Okay, so now it's time to pop the feet on. and They're both supposed to go on the inside. So at the rear, these go on the inside and at the front they go on the outside so I'm going to pop this on there just lift it up hook it up like that and using these long longer bolts that are supplied with the t-nut I'm going to pop a t-nut in there and then screw that through just to hold it on it's actually really well on anyway but it's just to keep it on should you need to lift the printer. Okay, so I'm going to start doing that now. Okay, so I've got a tape measure here. Now from the front, I might have to loosen this up slightly so that it'll slide along. It's from the very edge is to there it's supposed to be over 34 which it is actually so 34 from the front edge of the printer to the front edge there I'm actually not going to do that up yet just in case it needs a little bit of manipulation so I'll do that the other side and on the rear it's 22 from the rear of the printer to the rear part of the foot. On the rear we have two braces for the power supply and we've got a module here that will has various electronics including the buck converter for the lights 
So this can go in first, it just goes there and the power supply just sits next to it. Um, there's bolts through the bottom and just make sure that you have the various little square nuts in there. So let me get another one. And by the way, just make sure that when you do print that everything prints correctly. I've got one here, this one, that didn't print quite right and I've just had to reprint that so that it comes out uh, in a square format. Okay, right, so I'm going to pop these on. They're literally two bolts through the bottom of the blue housing, a bolt through the bottom of each of the black ones and then a bolt at the back of the back of the braces and then two bolts here so I'm going to carry on and do that. So the final piece I'm going to put at the back is just this cover which if I can get past the camera uh, should fit without jamming the wires in and that literally just fits like that with one screw or bolt to go in to fix it. Okay now we're going to put the control panel that I've, I've taken from the original Prusa Orange uh, housing and we're going to pop it into the printed parts. This is for the basic front without the Raspberry Pi. I've just freed up the cables, taken them out of the extrusion where they were. Uh, so I've got a lot more extension available now, which is handy for when I eventually uh, put an angled front on here. But for the moment, we have the display. Uh, number one, cable number one goes nearest the controller. And then we have cable number two. So that should go in something like that. And there's a brace here as well, which actually fits on first by the looks of things. So just trying to get all of those on at the same time. Just before we do the doors, I did notice there's a, a cable tidy that we can fit. In fact, it's two parts and we'll go like this. Hopefully you can see, so it'll be like this along the inside. And the other parts that we have to fit are a couple of clamps that will actually clamp onto this. So the cable tidy will actually push and engage. So I'm just going to fit those now. As you can see now, all the cables are nice and tidy. So quite impressed with that. They're all nicely along the cable tidy. Really, really pleased. The final part is fitting these plexiglass doors all the way around the enclosure. Uh, and that will include fitting the hinge parts that I've printed here installing those and also I've got a, a bag full of uh, catches so we've got twist lock catches 
and there's also some furniture to pop onto the top here such as a filament guide so those are coming up but I'm not going to do that in this episode this episode is long enough as it is so I'm going to do that in the next episode so please subscribe so you'll be notified of the next episode please also like if you like this video if you found it helpful and once we've uh, put the doors on on the next episode I'll be moving to fitting a Raspberry Pi uh, also a 5 inch screen on the front uh, and also wiring up the lighting as well so there's a lot to come so please subscribe to get notified of those events See you soon.